Hello, my beauties. Welcome back to Glow Up with Shelly. Today, we're going to be talking about something that has the potential to really make dramatic changes for your skin, especially when it comes to boosting your collagen production. This is another collagen replacement therapy video. And I'm going to tell you, this one is huge. You're going to like this. So let's get started. Remember, this channel is all about glowing up, transformative skincare, flawless makeup, and a lifestyle to match. If that resonates with you, hit subscribe. Don't forget to ring the notification bell. I want you to know when I post future videos. Hey guys, by the way, my daughter has a channel. It's True Crime. If you like True Crime, you need to check her out. She doesn't have very many subscribers. She just started. Her videos are amazing. They tell a story. They're super interesting. And she has some mystery going on there. So check her out. That's Diamond True Crime. I'm going to put that in the description box. So let's get started. What is the game changer for your skin that I'm discussing today? It's chemical peels. Chemical peels actually are a huge umbrella with a lot of things underneath. Well, I just wanna go over chemical peels in general and talk about all of the different kinds of chemical peels and let you choose which ones you think you should be doing. Chemical peels really remove the outer layer of dead skin, revealing that fresh, young looking skin underneath. And they come in different strengths, they come in different types, and each have their own unique benefits, and some of them have drawbacks. So why would we wanna do chemical peels? Well, chemical peels do a number of things. First, they will stimulate your collagen production. By removing the outer layers of that dead skin, you Peels actually start triggering the, the body's natural healing processes, kind of like microneedling. So they're like microneedling's cousin as far as increasing collagen. They also, too, produce, improve your skin texture. Peels can help smooth out your skin. They can help uh, get rid of rough patches, refine pores. The third thing that chemical peels do it too is they even out your skin tone. So they're excellent for addressing things like hyperpigmentation or serious sun damage. They have a tendency to like really even out the skin. And the fourth reason why chemical peels are beneficial is that they treat acne. Certain peels can help clear up acne and reduce the appearance of acne scars. So both of those and not not always the same peel for both of those, right? You have your peels that can really help reduce that acne scarring look, and then you have some peels that can actually help reduce acne. They, they all kind of help reduce acne by the way they work though. So let's talk about um, how to tell what kind of peel you might want and then to start using that peel. So there's different kinds of chemical peels that you can do, and a lot of the times I've been talking to you guys about at-home peels. So with at-home peels, these are very, very superficial peels. These are low strength peels and you can do these pretty much one to two times a week. They're pretty weak peels. Um, they're going to get off that very outer layer of skin and they're gonna leave the rest pretty much intact as long as you follow the directions. If you don't follow the directions, you can really burn yourself. I know that can be like hard to understand, but it's so true. There are weaker at-home peels, superficial peels, and stronger superficial peels. You could get like a 10% lactic acid or a 20% lactic acid or a 10% glycolic acid or a 15% glycolic acid over the counter in like you know, like a uh, number seven or this one's Clarity is what it's called, the brand. And this is lactic acid. And then you could get like a stronger at-home peel, like a 30%, like a Justner's peel, like a 30% AHA, 2% BHA, like the peeling solution from The Ordinary. And these are peels you could do you know, a couple of times a week. The This one I would probably only do once a week. Um, it's kind of a stronger peel. There's also peeling pads that are, this one's I think 10% uh, glycolic acid, but it also has different um, BHAs and AHAs in this. So it's like a glycolic, lactic, salicylic. These are, again, an at-home peel. You can do this one to two times a week. It's not going to really cause any downtime. It's just going to slough off that outer layer of skin and leave your skin pretty toned and nice underneath. Then there's like your superficial, more professional superficial peels that are a little bit higher percentages of like glycolic acid or combo acids, sometimes with salicylic, lactic, mandalic those kinds of acids kind of all mixed in. We call these Jessner peels. You also have just your straight glycolic, straight lactic, 
straight salicylic and those um, come in more professional strengths. So we're getting towards like 20, 30% range. And these are usually not over the counter. Listen, if you're buying something on Amazon that says it's like a weekly peel or whatever, and it's like, 30% glycolic acid and you've never done a peel before, be careful. Don't just buy this stuff on Amazon, y'all. Like, there are things to think about. You need to think about trusted brands, et cetera, et cetera. So I just want to caution you because chemical peels can be dangerous. They're not you know, always like super easy to do. So these can potentially save you tons of money because they can be hundreds of dollars at the med spa and you can do like your deeper peels once a month, okay? And sometimes I do do deeper peels at the med spa, but honestly, most of the peels that you get at the med spa are going to be like the peels that I show you today. They're not usually super strong peels. I know we see those TikTok videos where they're taking off entire layers of the face. Those are super deep peels. We will talk about them today, but they are rare um, and they are not common. So don't think that, oh, if I go to a med spa, I'm going to get that really deep kind of peel. You won't like, and they are expensive y'all. I'm talking hundreds. We're going to go over price and all of that. So if you do do like a deeper peel at home though, you need to purchase these from reputable companies. And I personally prefer a single company for my peels. I don't like going on Amazon just to get my peels. I, there's a few trusted brands on Amazon that I will get. Deeper peels are more harsh on your skin and you need to make sure you know what you're getting and they shouldn't be coming from a, a non-reputable source. So there's different kinds of peels first, um, and these are your professional strength peels. So let's get away from the daily at-home peels that you can do, you know, one to two times a week and set these aside, okay? Because these are great peels and they're gonna get you a long way. But if you have lots of changes to make to your skin, or if you really want to try to boost that collagen and you have the type of skin that allows it, because we need to talk about that too, there's a lot to using peels. And I want to go through this a little bit more carefully so that you don't just try to jump on this bandwagon without the proper knowledge. Okay. So there's mild kinds of peels using acids like glycolic or salicylic, and these are the most mild of the peels. They're called superficial, and you can get these at med spas too. Glycolic peels, these are from sugarcane, and they're basically meant for improving texture, reducing fine lines, shrinking pores. Great peels, you can get them in strengths like well up into 50%. They are for your beginners, right, doing peels. They have no downtime, hardly at all. Um, and they're really addressing minor skin concerns. You have salicylic acid peels, and those are really for like oily skin. They can unclog your pores, reduce skin inflammation. So they're great for like tone, evenness, uh, texture of your skin. You have like lactic acid peels, and those are lighter peels as well. They're gentler than most of your other peels. They're gonna be super light. Um, they can help with hydration and then some like hyperpigmentation issues. Then you have mandolic acid peels and these are uh, usually derived from almonds. They're super light. They're even lighter than your lactic acid peels and they can really help with like acne and hyperpigmentation. I will say that people with oilier skin tend to not do mandolic really well. Okay, I would choose Mandolic for more like your darker skin tones because it doesn't create as much like hyperpigmentation, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, and uh, outbursts of melasma. So Jester's Peel, it's a combination. It's salicylic, lactic, and an acid called worsenol. Uh, I'm so bad at pronouncing this. <laughs> it's also effective for treating a variety of concerns from hydration to hyperpigmentation to fine lines to tone and texture. So it kind of, it's like a blanket peel. It's a little bit harsher and has more of a chance of of creating your post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. So if you, and I wanna say this, if you are a type of person who does suffer from post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, peels may not necessarily be your end-all be-all. Also, if you have melasma, they're not always good for people with melasma because it tends to, they tend, their skin tends to get more of that inflammation, so it can create more pigmentation. 
So you might want to, if you're going to do that, you're going to want to use like a Fade Bright. Well, a Skin Place that I get it from Platinum Peel does sell a Fade Bright. You can also do like a Hydroquinone. Um, that's from your derm if you really want to do this. And you're like, oh, I want to do it, but I don't, you know, um, want to spend the money on like a Fade Bright. Your derm can um, actually give you a prescription for hydroquinone. So medium peels. These are the peels that I prefer. I have pretty much done peels for a really long time. I've done a lot of at-home peels. I do those once to twice weekly. I do use a glycolic acid toner, and I do that a couple of times a week as well. And I'll do that before I put on... Uh, Retin-A. So my skin is very accustomed to peels, but I've been, do but you have to understand, I've been doing them for a very long time. And I've also done a lot of med spa peels. So I've actually gone to the med spa and they have done the peels on me, but my skin is so resilient that they have to do several layers of them to really even like get to my under layers because I do do peels quite a lot. Your medium peels are going to be deeper. These are often using um, trichloroacetic trichloro acid. So that is called TCA and it's a type of peel. They penetrate deeper into the skin and they reach the upper layer of the dermis. So you get through the epidermis and into the upper layer of the dermis. Now your superficial peels are just going to treat the epidermis. Okay, so once you start getting into the dermis though, that's where you can create more hyperpigmentation. So you really have to be careful and you have to understand how your skin reacts to peels. That's why I always say start with superficial at-home peels, move up to a superficial peel, and then you can try a medium peel. Don't just launch into medium peels and then go, oh my gosh, this YouTube influencer told me to do medium peels and now I have hyperpigmentation all over my face and now I have you know, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation and I have melasma and I, uh, it's all her fault. I am telling you this, please start slowly with these because they slowly increase your collagen production anyway. You're gonna love, if you've never used peels, you're gonna love the way your at-home peels make your skin. Stick with that for a few months, okay? Keep that going, you know, check in with your skin barrier, do all of those things, and then you can go into your more professional strength superficial peels, okay? Um, and then move from there to your medium peels. These are more effective for treating moderate skin concerns, but they do require a lot more downtime than your superficial peels. These peels tend to be anywhere from $300 to $900 at the med spa. Your superficial peels are only gonna be about $100 to $250 at the med spa. Um, but these peels are going to be ex more expensive and they will make significant changes to your skin, especially if done monthly and paired with a good skin skincare routine and all of your treatments. These are going to be like, you're going to see a huge difference in your skin. And then your Jessner solution plus TCA. So you can mix these. These peels can really help enhance penetration of your peel and are particularly best for treating like sun damage and melasma. So these can actually help make it as long as you don't have a certain skin type. You can do a higher concentration of glycolic acid as well in your peel, or you can combine your TCA peel with like a vitamin A peel, okay? And that's gonna produce more significant results. So the, the great, the thing about peels is you can make them stronger. You can increase the percentage of your peel or you can increase the amount of layers of your peel. And I always say low percentage, high layer, like low percentage, move up to high layers, okay? And then move on to the next percentage, move up to high layers, okay? So you don't wanna like make it where you're getting, you know, you're going super strong, super, you know what I mean? Like you just really wanna increase it slowly. So start off with your lower percentage and just add more layers of that as you start to get accustomed to that percentage. And then you can move up to like a higher percentage TCA and then, you know, do one or two layers of that and then start adding more layers as you become accustomed to that each time you do your peel. Deep peels is the strongest type of peel. These are usually um, using like things like phenol. They provide some dramatic results. We've all seen them on TikTok. They're the ones where like they're peeling off the whole face and it comes off like in a big, 
Oh my god, that looks so scary. I just don't... <laughs> They require a lot of recovery time and these should only like you should never purchase these over the counter or at any peel place. Like if, if they sell it to you, that's bad. Okay. Nobody should be selling these peels. They are terribly scary and these should be, only be performed by a, a professional. They will be, you can get them in office, but they cost a ton of money. And there's the phenol peels and 50% TA. TCA peels you're getting into that concentrations at or above 50% are so like you're gonna get a lot of dead skin off and you're gonna be damaged like you are like when I say damaged I mean it's 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 gonna take a lot of layers I would never do this at home never 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 do it at home so there's some pros and cons of chemical peels so the pros are that definitely does a ton for your skin as far as texture tone wrinkles fine lines sun damage hyperpigmentation all the works they boost collagen out the wazoo so they're like getting a dose of collagen replacement therapy because they are going to boost that collagen remember your cells don't turn over as well when you age so i think somebody put in my comment box one time that your cells don't they as you get older they it takes 84 days for them to turn over honey i'm telling you my cells don't take 84 days to turn over because i have been using chemical peels for a very long time my cells are on a 28 day cycle and i honestly think they turn over faster i'll tell you why because when i get skin barrier issues it's two to three days that's it and my skin is back to normal and now even i rarely get skin barrier issues like at all at all and when i say skin barrier like any tenderness stinging tightness things like that are signs that you have a skin barrier issue i've got a skin barrier video that i did a while back you might want to check that out um, if you're going to do peels you need to pay attention to that skin barrier and make sure it's healthy as you're healing from that peel cons are you do have some redness you do have some peeling you don't want to peel it off you don't really want to wear makeup while you're peeling so that can you know hamper your day deeper peels like your medium peels are going to have some downtime you are going to have the risk of hyperpigmentation if you have darker skin i would say if you are the type of person who does have stuff like that you might want to keep this at the med spa so some precautions always do a patch test before you do a peel follow the instructions carefully especially regarding timing use sun protection and i mean use sun protection please make sure it's a mineral sun protection or a broad brimmed hat and some long sleeves, okay? That's the best sun protection is clothes. So remember that your skin will be peeling, it will be sensitive to the sun, and you do not wanna expose the under layer to the sun and get sun damage. If you do have super sensitive skin, I would be very cautious with this and definitely consult with someone who knows your skin like your dermatologist or your esthetician. The frequency of peels, very superficial peels can be done like every couple of weeks. At home peels can be done one to two times a week. Your very superficial professional peels can be done every two to four weeks. And then um, your TCA peels, um, your medium peels are usually done every four weeks to three months. Okay. So some people wait time. I don't think you need to wait that long um, unless you're new to peeling in which you might want to wait a little bit longer, right? Deep peels are a one it and done it. I mean, I'm talking once every two years kind of thing, one it and done it. So where do you purchase these home peels? You can find at home chemical peels at different levels depending on um what kind you get so you can find some in the pharmacy and um over the counter and those are going to be mainly your at-home peels that are going to be super light and ones that you can do one to two times a week but medium peels you're going to want to purchase those from a place that is licensed uh for professional uh use and the place that i found where most people get it if they get it if they're trying to buy it online is uh platinum skincare they do carry professional um strength peels and tell you how to use them which is so important because i don't want to be telling people to use peels and then they go out and they're just like putting this stuff all over their skin they're waiting 10 minutes <sighs> No, no, you've got to know how to use these. So let me show you a couple of peels that are really good. I love this peel. It's a little bit more of a gentle peel. It is a medium peel though. 
It's the uh, Vitamin A Dream Peel. I just love this peel. And this is an overnight peel. You can do this for up to three nights and it's just in a little bottle. Um, it's really easy to use, but please, if you're gonna use it, definitely watch the video to see how you need to use it. And this can be done overnight. You can do it one day overnight or you can do it up to three days overnight depending on how used to vitamin A your skin is. My skin is pretty used to vitamin A, but this will cause you to peel. It's a beautiful product. It definitely strengthens the skin, reduces fine lines, wrinkles. You're going to wake up to glowy, glowy skin about a week later. It's gonna be amazing. And then the other peel that I really like is the TCA peel. Now I have the 13% TCA peel with me today and it just comes in this. There's a lot of peels in here. So you really do get your money's worth with these peels. Remember these are usually about $300 in the med spa and you get it looks six peels, I believe for uh, $30 or something like that. So they're pretty cheap um, and you can layer these. They come like that. You can layer these. Um, you can either do, so this is a very low, this is the lowest TCA percentage and you can layer that, you know, several times to get a stronger, deeper peel. I would start off with one to two layers only, of course, because you do not want to go too heavy the first few times that you do a peel. But it does, they do give you like the gauze sponges that you use to wipe um, the peel on and you let it sit there for a few minutes. It's great. You can use these in combination. So you can do this one and then this one uh, right after, like following it um, for a, the end of the peel. And it can really make a huge difference in your skin too. It's just amazing. While chemical peels are great, are fantastic for stimulating collagen production, they are just one of the, one part of this comprehensive anti-aging strategy that I call collagen replacement therapy. That's where collagen replacement therapy really shines, right? Because you're gonna be combining these treatments with other treatments that are targeted to help with the same things and with increasing your collagen production so that you can get the most maximum amount of bang for your dollar and you can have that glowing beautiful skin no matter what guys i had really bad skin damage probably about i am 48 now my skin was so damaged at 40 like i didn't do anything to it now, when I say I didn't do anything, I still tried to do the girly stuff. I still tried to do moisturizers and stuff, but I didn't realize my skin was oily and I would skip it a lot thinking, oh, my skin's so oily, it doesn't need more moisture. It wasn't until I really started learning about skincare and I mean, you should, the, the pictures of me before and after are just, they're so different. I get a lot of people that come onto my YouTube channel that accuse me of like having a facelift. Y'all, I have never had a facelift. Never, never, never never had a facelift and I can show you like behind my ears like I have never had a facelift my skin is much tighter on my face part of it I believe is my protocol okay what I have termed collagen replacement therapy because I attack it from all angles all angles I do all the things. So remember, consistency is the key. Regular treatments combined with that solid skincare routine can lead to significant improvements in your skin, texture, tone, and overall appearance. But you have to be consistent with it. I never miss a day, never. And I'm talking since I was 41, I have maybe missed two nighttime routines and that's it. I can rarely say when I miss a, a morning routine. Sometimes I will wake up in the morning and I'll be sick. And that's the only time I miss my skincare. So <laughs> that's all for today's video on chemical peels and collagen production. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and keep on glowing inside and out. I'll see you next time on Glove with Shelly.